Hi, today I'm going to show you in Tinkercad a little bit of the basics and how to make this base. So the first things that you need to know in Tinkercad is that this is your work plane. It's the space that you're going to be putting shapes on and that you're going to be doing all your work on. Uh, in the work plane there's three axes. There's your X, your Y, and then your third axis, the Z. So that's like the height of things. Uh, the mouse controls that you use for left click, that's how you can select things. The scroll wheel is zooming, and the right click is panning, just like that. So the way Tinkercad works is that it gives you a, a library of a bunch of shapes. So you can click in here, and there's a bunch of different options. So like, you can do a dinosaur, which is really fun, and that later on gets into many things, once you get a little bit more involved in Tinkercad. But for first, we're going to start with basic shapes, so that's obviously this kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to stick with the box, that's what I've been using. So the way you select a shape and bring it onto the work plane is that you click it, you drag your mouse over, you don't have to click and hold, and you place it where you want it, which doesn't really matter because you can move it around later. So when you put a shape out, you get the options of what size you want. So the way you can change the sizes is to move this to go on your work plane and you can move like that or you can click the numbers right here and you can type in the value that you want and width is also changed so update that and that should help oh, maybe it's height nope sometimes it's a little slow in knowing what it needs to do yeah so see it's not exactly square so we can move this and make it 20 oh, it's not wanting to We'll just delete this one and start new. Another one, put it out. Okay. So now that we have our box, the way that we can get more boxes is to either, again, click and then drag in place. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to go to this button up here, which is behind my face, you can't really see it, and click the, du the duplicate button or do control D. And that gives you another box. And it's over top of the original box, so you just take and drag. And now you have two boxes. So for stacking, you just can move them along the X and the Y. Need one more box. And there we have our first layer. So now, for getting a box to move upwards like these ones, you're going to click a box, you're going to place it, and you're going to use this little arrow tool, and it moves it up. So we're going to put it up 20 units, because that's the height of the other ones. And now, look, it's above the other ones. So move it over here. We'll stack it. It looks a little bit weird from some of the oops, it looks a little bit weird from some of the angles that you're at, just because the way it is. But look there, and now it's stacked. So to make life a little bit easier on us, instead of having to move them up every single time, we can click this, we can click duplicate, and it'll stay at the same height as the other one, which is a really helpful tool. So you don't have to be moving things up all the time. Oh, I got like five boxes. So we'll move this one up. Gotta be careful where you click, because you can click the wrong thing a lot. Move this over. And now we can click duplicate. Oh, no. That's not right. And you can click delete on your keyboard, or you can use the little garbage can up here to delete things. So select, duplicate, and then move. And you can do keep doing that as many times as you want until you get your tower to be the height that you want it at. Uh, this is just some of the basic things you can do. Some other stuff, so I just selected all of them at once with the left mouse uh, key, and then hit delete. So other shapes that you have are spheres, and you change that by the radius size, and you can add a hole in them, or you can make it into a hole, sorry, if you have another shape. So let's put another shape out here. Make it nice and big, place it here, and then, sphere can turn into a hole, just like that. Boom. Um, some other things is the scribble option. Come on. And you just draw however you want. And there you go. That's what, And that shows you the preview of what it would look like. Hit done. And there's your scribble. So you, so you could, oh come on, you could write your name. Done. 
and boom, there's my name on the work plane. And you can see that the work plane will change sizes to adjust to what you've, uh, to what you've made, and you can change it manually yourself. But it won't give me that option right now, so the shapes. There we go. Cool. And so some of the really cool things that you can do with Tinkercad is you can export it into another software like Cura and get it ready for printing, and you can print things that you make, which is really fun. Uh, it's a great beginner's CAD software. You can easily get into other stuff with it. It's a little simple after you've been doing it for a while, so you might want to update to something to some kind of free CAD software, which there's a ton out there. Uh, there's also text options, which is really cool. Loads of things, so you can type what you want it to say. So I can say, hello, just like that. And so I could print something like that. I could make a keychain with text on it. There's so many different options you can do with Tinkercad, and I can't wait for you to get involved. Thanks for watching.